This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Yesterday on the National Mall, there was a march for Israel, a march to free the hostages, a march against anti-Semitism. Kind of. I mean, it was a noble goal to have people gather one with another to fight against extremism, to come against terrorism, to come against the scourge of anti-Semitism, which is a problem. We're seeing an uptick in attacks and harassment, violence. Terrible. This, is, this, this was on their website. Why we march for Israel. The March for Israel will be an opportunity for all Americans to come together in solidarity with the people of Israel to demonstrate our commitment to America's most important ally in the Middle East, to condemn the rising trend of anti-Semitic violence and harassment, and to demand that every hostage be immediately and safely released. Except for the fact that they featured, they highlighted the speech, almost 10 minutes of it, of John Hagee, a virulent anti-Semite, someone who blames the Jews themselves for the Holocaust, someone I grew up thinking was a a mighty righteous man of God, some sort of a prophet figure. He has said, like I said, the, the Holocaust was punishment, God's punishment against the Jews for being disobedient. Said that, The Antichrist will be partially Jewish, just like Adolf Hitler. In fact, look at this article from the Huffington Post a few years ago. Nationally prominent mega pastor Hagee claims Hitler was a half-breed Jew. In a sermon that Hagee once said, there is a phrase in scripture used solely to identify the Jewish people. It suggests that this man, the Antichrist, is at least going to be partially Jewish, as was Adolf Hitler, as was Karl Marx. This is a guy who's been photographed with Donald Trump and is a staunch supporter of the MAGA movement, and he was invited to speak by the organizers, ostensibly, of this rally. So was it for anti-Semitism? Because if that's the case... Why would they highlight for nearly 10 minutes the speech of a man who called Adolf Hitler a half-breed Jew? Uh, From this article, in the revised and updated 2007 version of John Hagee's book, Jerusalem Countdown, on page 147 in a chapter with the ominous title, Who is a Jew? Hagee wrote, Hagee himself wrote this, God promised to be at war with the descendants of Esau and Amalek forever. Esau's descendants would produce a lineage that would attack and slaughter the Jews for centuries. Esau's descendants included Haman, whose diabolical mind conceived the final solution of the Old Testament, the extermination of all Jews living in Persia. It was Esau's descendants who produced the half-breed Jews of history, who have persecuted and murdered the Jews beyond human comprehension. And then he finishes it. Adolf Hitler was a distant descendant of Esau. And so, I'm not going to play 10 minutes of a speech, nine minutes and six seconds to be exact, but uh, I want you to to, to recognize what's on the the podium, the placard on the, the front of the podium Uh, that he's speaking behind while he gives these remarks, just very briefly what he was saying at the rally. Watch this. Israel is not merely a state. When millions of Zionists mention Israel, they don't just mean the only freedom-loving democracy. Israel is this and more. Israel is the apple of God's eye. Israel is the shining city on the hill. Israel says, God says of Israel, Israel is my firstborn son. Jer- <laughs> Jerusalem is the city of God. Jerusalem is the shoreline of eternity. Jerusalem is the eternal 
capital of Israel today and forever. There is only one nation whose flag will fly over the ancient walls of the sacred city of Jerusalem. That nation is Israel, now and forever. And listen, if you think that the excerpt from the book is disgusting enough, if that's problematic enough for you, just wait. Because I have audio of a sermon he gave where he blamed the Jews for the Holocaust. I mean, to call it victim blaming just does not do it justice. And again, I ask the question, why would they have him there? A MAGA adherent, conspiracy theorist, prophet, who gives nothing but hatred and distrust for the Jewish people. That is, any support he has for Israel is absolutely self-interested because he's trying to bring about the apocalypse. He's trying to bring about the second coming of a Jesus uh, through his, the, 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 the calculations he's done in the Bible about what it says and who, what has to take place. That's why he supports Israel, not because he has any affection for the Jewish people. He's a bigot. He's a hater of Jews, blaming them for their near eradication by Adolf Hitler. Listen to this. I've subtitled it. It's, it's, it's clear what he's saying, and it is disgusting and dangerous. And again, I ask the question, why was he invited to speak? Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O oh, you dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. And he spoke to them and they stood and they became an exceeding great army, meaning they physically came to life. Now, how is God going to bring them back to the land? The answer is fishers and hunters. The answer is given in Jeremiah 16, verse 15 and following. God says in Jeremiah 16, Behold, I will bring them, the Jewish people, again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. That would be Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Behold, I will send for many fishers, and after will I send for many hunters. And they, the hunters, shall hunt them. That will be the Jews. From every mountain and from every hill and from out of the holes of the rocks. If that doesn't describe what Hitler did in the Holocaust, you can't see that. So think about this. I will send fishers, and I will send hunters. A fisher is someone who entices you with a bait. How many of you know who Theodore Herschel was? How many of you don't have a clue who he was? Woo! Sweet God. Theodore Herschel is the father of Zionism. He was a Jew that at the turn of the 19th century said, This land is our land. God wants us to live there. So he went to the Jews of Europe and said, I want you to come and join me in the land of Israel. So few went. Herschel went into depression. Those who came founded Israel. Those who did not went through the hell of the Holocaust. Then God sent a hunter. A hunter is someone who comes with a gun and he forces you. Hitler was a hunter. And the Bible says, Jeremiah writing, they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill out of the holes of the rocks, meaning there's no place to hide. And that will be offensive to some people. Well, dear heart, be offended. I didn't write it. Jeremiah wrote it. It was the truth, and it is the truth. How did it happen? Because God allowed it to happen. Why did it happen? Because God says, my top priority for the Jewish people is to get them to come back to the land of Israel. Today, Israel is back in the land, and they are at Ezekiel 37 and 8. They are physically alive, but they're not spiritually alive. Now, how is God going to cause the Jewish people to come spiritually alive and say, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he is God? Yeah, I would hope you'd have the same question. Is that an ally of the Jewish people? He seems to be an ally of Israel, but again, for his self-interested death cult reasons. Van Jones was there too, a guy that I do not admire. 
A guy was a little too close to the Trumps, yucking it up and laughing at Donald Trump's jokes while sitting next to Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump. And he tried to, he tried to, to talk about peace just slightly and was nearly drowned out by the crowd who started chanting, no ceasefire. Watch this moment. I also pray that Hamas ends its reign of terror. I pray that. I pray that. And I have to say, I'm a peace guy. I'm a peace guy. I pray for peace. No more rockets from Gaza and no more bombs falling down on the people of Gaza. God protect the children. God protect children. Let's end all the horror and all the heartbreak in the Holy Land. Let's end all of it. Let's end all of it. But I'll be honest in closing. When I think about what's happening over there, I don't feel powerful to do something about what's happening over there. What I do feel powerful is to maybe do something about what's happening here. Let's take a stand here against anti-Jewish bigotry. Let's take a stand against Muslim. Let's, ta let's take a stand here against hatred. Let's take a stand here against hatred of all kinds. So Van Jones says, I, I, I'm a peace guy. Can we stop all the killing? Babies and Gazans who are innocent, non-combatants shouldn't be killed. And he's nearly drowned out by the no ceasefire chance. No, we need to kill them all. He got fewer than five minutes to speak and John Hagee got nearly 10. Why was John Hagee invited? If indeed, if indeed the motivation and the objective of this rally was to stem the tide, the dangerous tide, the very real tide of anti-Semitism, threats against Jewish Americans and Jews all over the country, all over the world. If indeed it, that was the objective, why invite John Hagee? If you know, I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. You can email me daily at dollamore.com. And of course, you can leave a comment below. That is actually the best way to help my work. Uh, YouTube will recommend this channel to new viewers, and that is fantastic. If you want to help support my work financially, you can click the join button below, become a channel member for $2 a month. You can go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Hit the super thanks button. Make sure you're subscribed, like, comment, share this video with someone. Uh, I think I'm going to put that uh, John Hagee sermon just straight up on Twitter and to, to inform the people of who exactly he is. Follow me on social media if you want to see that or share that. I am at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, Threads, TikTok, Facebook, all of them at Dollamore. Love to see you there. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.